What's up nerfers, today I have some gameplay footage for you using the Sweetheart Storm in its 300 feet per second configuration. I'm also trying out worker 18 round mags now that I've double sprung them. This should help bump up the feed rate of the mags high enough to prevent any jams from happening and it also doesn't seem to squish or deform the darts at all which is a plus. Now unlike my usual games of using nerf against jobble blasters, this one here was a nerf only event. The round I'm going to show you is also more of an average game of what you could realistically expect using the Sweetheart Storm. The game type, Team Deathmatch. Each player has three lives, so they can only respawn twice after the game begins. As the round begins, I decide to run to the back of the hill with my goal of making it all the way around it. There isn't much cover here when coming from my direction, leaving me very open to any opponents deciding to come this way. But usually in a gel ball game, not many people go here. I was not expecting the other team to be here already. I should have known nerfers like having the high ground though. With one life down, there's only really one way to attack the hill, and that's from the opponent's side of the field. Avoiding fire from the middle trenches, I take cover behind the trampoline. <laughs> yep. You can hear the speaker playing the theme from MASH. There's also another speaker on the hill that the enemies have occupied that plays Fortunate Son on repeat. After we take out the players in the middle, I begin making my way closer to the hill. But this is a fairly unsafe place to be because the enemies will respawn behind me. <laughs> and I'm now down to my final life. If I get hit one more time, that's it. Game over. This time, I decide to head down along the left side of the fence, with the end goal of making it to attack the hill again, but clearing out any enemies on the way there first. Watch out the back fence. Yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> 
This time, I actually have a clear run through the front of the enemy spawn around to the base of the hill. He ducks down, hiding from view, and calls out my location to his teammates. I'm essentially pinned down behind this bamboo building now, and most of my team are completely out of lives. And that's my final life gone. A respawning enemy player gets me from behind. The enemy team won with the high ground advantage and my team was definitely the Anakin of this scenario. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay video. If you want to get your hands on the blaster I was using, you can find it at the links down below, both in the USA or Australia. Consider leaving a like or a dislike to let me know what you thought of the video. I thought I'd change it up a bit and just show you an average round. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's two other videos you might enjoy, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.